Give to my eyes light to see those in need. Give to my heart compassion and understanding. Give to my mind knowledge and wisdom. Give to my hands skill and tenderness. Give to my ears ability to listen. Give to me, Lord, strength for this selfless service and enable me to bring joy to the lives of those I serve. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will assist the physician in his work and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill wherever they may be and whenever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. On behalf of the nursing faculty at Ivy Tech Columbus, I would like to extend our congratulations to each of the December 2020 nursing graduates. We know this has been a very difficult task to complete the majority of your nursing education during a pandemic, but your hard work and perseverance have paid off and we are very proud of each of you. We wish you the best of luck in your future career in education. Again, congratulations. So, here we are, another graduation where it is virtual. You know, in the spring, I went ahead and I had uh, dressed up all cute in my apartment and acted very regal and gave a nice inspirational speech. But I've learned in that time that real internet sages and virtual sages give their speeches in their cars. So that's what I'm doing now. I have my drink to really add on the sages. It's fancy. It's orange pop. And I'm going to give my word of wisdom to you all. Practical advice. If you are on a floor and they say, uh, do not, this isn't safe, uh, don't work there. <laughs> you have worked too hard for your education. You have worked too hard for uh, your license to uh, jeopardize it for uh, the greater good, okay? Every place you work is going to be for the greater good, and you need to nurture your new uh, profession and grow your talent. So if I could give any advice to you, that would be the advice I would give. If someone is saying, this isn't safe, uh, start putting in your walking papers and looking for something uh, better, brighter pastures. So uh, with that, congratulations on your accomplishment to my PNs and my RNs. I hope that wherever you go, it is wonderful. Um, you will build on the profession. You will help us out immensely in this pandemic. Brighter times are ahead. Uh, wear your PPE. Uh, be safe and good luck to you. Hey December grads, just wanted to take a moment and congratulate you on your success, especially since you have done this during a global pandemic. So you should really pat yourselves on the back for that. In addition to wishing you congratulations, I just want to share with you some words of wisdom that I wish someone had said to me as a new nurse. And that is... Remember why you came to be a nurse anyway. What made you want to do this? The first year is really, really rough, 
And if you're like me, you're going to spend a lot of time questioning your life choices. But it will get better. At one point, you will be able to answer a patient's question without having to look things up. You are going to start giving advice to other new nurses. You are going to start feeling confident and competent in what you do. You just have to get through that first year. Remember how terrifying and frustrating it was that first semester of nursing school? Well, the first year of nursing is kind of going to be like that. But you can make it through. Don't give up. Reach out and find a nurse who's going to take you under their wing and teach you right. Just do not let yourself get discouraged. Remember why you came here and why you want to do this. I wish you all great success in your future careers. Well, I just want to take a moment to tell you congratulations on getting to this point and give you an important piece of advice. Although um, there's a lot of advice I've thought about giving you, the one thing that keeps coming back to me um, as I've been thinking about your cohort is to be present. Be present. Life has so many distractions. So when you get to the door of the hospital or the office or the home that you're going into to take care of your patients, be present. Leave everything else at the door. Um, be present for the patient, for the family, the other nurses, the aides, um, everyone that you work with um, because you will make a difference that way. You'll make a huge difference. Work hard. Ask questions. Help your coworkers. Continue to learn. And at the end of your shift, when you walk out that door, you can say, I made a difference today because my team and I, we leave everything at the door and when we're here, we give it 110%. We do our very best. Um, and when you walk outside that door, then you can pick that stuff back up and don't forget to take care of yourself um, because it's only when you take care of yourself outside those doors that you can continue to go in day in, day out and continue to make a difference. Congratulations. I wish we were doing this in person. So instead, I'm going to do it in front of my Christmas tree. I'm usually in charge of the music, so I have the music playing in the background. So you hear that a little bit. And George and Stanley are assisting me. So this is the pomp and circumstance. Uh, congratulations. You guys have gotten through a very rough year. Um, and you made it. Congratulations. Um, let's see, my uh, advice to you as new nurses, um, something one of my instructors always told me, fake it till you make it. If you don't know what you're doing, fake it and try to figure it out. Fake it till you make it helped me many, many times. So, congratulations again. And one of my favorite parts of the ceremony is at the very end, I stop the pomp and circumstance and I play this song, the Hallelujah Chorus. So, let's see, let me get it up a little bit higher. This is my favorite part. Everybody walks out to the Hallelujah Chorus. Hallelujah, you made it. <laughs> Congratulations, nurses. The mannequins are sleeping. We just wanted to take a minute to congratulate all of you on completing your training. We, we're so proud of you all, and the mannequins are really impressed with you. I just wanted to say my one piece of advice is be nice to the Simtex. You might need them. Have a great time. Enjoy this part of your life. And good luck.